Hi, welcome to Video Doctor and in this video we will be seeing how to stream without OBS directly from Atom Mini Pro and this is applicable for all the Atom Mini series. So right now you can see the Ethernet port over here in the back side. So we are going to connect the Ethernet which has the internet connectivity. So it can be from your router or your mesh or whatever is it. So I'm just connecting it. You can see it gets lightened up, right? And now we are going to configure this in our software first. So you can see there is the item software control. It's very simple. We have connected via USB-C that you see over here. So this is taking the software control to my laptop. So now in laptop, I have got the software control and I'm just going to the output deck over here. And this you can see the live stream. In this live stream area, you can select any platform you want, starting from YouTube, Facebook, Teams, Instagram, Twitch, even Restream IO, and from there you can do multiple streaming. All those things are available. Right now, I'm going to choose YouTube and over here, and I'm just going to copy the key, stream key over here, and come over here and just paste this key. And you can select whatever quality you want over here for your streaming according to your internet connectivity. So let's say I'm going to select my streaming medium and this is directly corresponding to your recording as well. So if you're selecting streaming medium and connecting your USB-C disk, it is going to be that kind of bitrate only. If you're selecting HyperDeck High and then doing your streaming, again, it is going to be the same quality of your streaming. So that to be keeping in mind. So I'm going to select, I'm not going to record. So just going to stream it right now. So. I'm coming to my panel over here. This is a one-time setup. You don't have to set up each and every time to this key. If you set this up once, then whenever you connect your internet and go and hit on air, it will blink twice and it is going on air. So you can see in the multi-view also, you can see the on air is going and you can see the indication YouTube at RPMP and you can see the bitrate available here. So let's switch back to my laptop. And in laptop, you can see it is showing on air and you can see the status over here. If I switch back to my YouTube, you can see the streaming is coming in and you can see the excellent connection over here. So now I'm going to do a switching right now here. So I'm just hitting an auto button. You can see that is being replicated over here in my final output also. So you can see that has been replicated over here. You can see that is being replicated and whatever you do in the switching. So in terms of live in the panel or in your software control, everything will be replicated in the live stream so if you want to stop the stream you can come over here and hit stop and your streaming will stop so that's it and you we have completed how to do live streaming via using the internal streaming engine and if you have any doubts or comments you can uh, leave a comment by and we'll try to help you out and follow video doctor for more videos like this